I'm gonna start being ignorant, okay? The right amount of hair. I told you to do it the whole other way. You said you. I got to get myself together. Honey, I glisten today. <laughs> Ain't nobody using your glass. Hello. We can't even see it, see it. We can't see it. You ain't do all that, come. <laughs> Hey, it's your girl Mary Kay. What a slickity slickity slay. I got some real dope for y'all today. We're gonna take things step by step. I'm 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 gonna give you the tea. Yes, this is coffee. This is keto coffee. <laughs> I am going to give you the tea, okay? But first, I want to give it up for my subscriber of the day. Bye. You're done. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Go ahead and just get it popping, okay? Let that be your New Year's resolution. I mean, why not? Hello. So I'm going to be doing a full install of Butterfly Locks. Y'all showing so much love, but I decided to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to use a braid pattern that I already had in my head. Just four chunky cornrows going back. Okay, and I know some of y'all probably like, now, sis, I mean, how we gon'? Don't worry, I got you, okay? I see this this little glisten I got going on right here, honey. I glisten today. <laughs> I glisten today. Come on, glisten. Come on, glisten. Y'all, my cat is looking at me like, ma'am, you ain't do all that, come <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get started before I get to talking about my glisten and, and get off topic because you know. And when I get to talking to y'all, I be on all kinds of topics. Now, these are from Toya Trust. Y'all showed a lot of love to the Butterfly Locks from Toya Trust. However, they have a new length. You know, they be popping out with the different lengths and colors. Blase, blase, blase. So these are the eight inch, the eight inch. Last time we did 10 inches. I think one time before we did 12. I don't know, have we done 12 inch? But now they have eight inches. So I'm excited to see how that's going to look. So you know, when you get Toya Trust hair, you get a certain amount of bundles. Eight of these bundles. You also get crochet hook. When they first start popping, they used to get those little bags, those rubber bands. I was like, Mm, I don't even think about it. those little rubber bands got on my last good narrow. I said, I'm y'all might as well keep your little coins because anybody using these rubber bands. <laughs> I was just trying to be helpful, that's all. God loves a cheerful giver, and I was giving good knowledge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twelve. Now these are little small. I don't know if they're going to be this size all throughout, but so you will have 96 of these beautiful butterfly locks. I had this bra mm. <laughs> I had this braid pattern in my hair already for another style. And I'm sorry if I'm super bright. I just I'm just doing stuff this year. I'm I'm trying just 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 bear with me, okay? So I didn't necessarily want to take it out because I'm like, this all fresh and stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't. This is almost like a braidless. This is the same concept as a braidless crochet. Same concept. We're going to crochet over these braids, right? And then we're going to crochet over our hair. We got to do it a specific way. You can't just get all up in there and just do what you want to do because that's what you feel like. You can't do that all the time. I mean, you can do it. Just don't be telling folks you got this idea from Mary Kay Bella. That's all I'm saying because I told you to do it the whole other way. And you said you was going to do it the way you want to do it because you a grown woman. You can do whatever you want. And I said you sure can. Don't, don't say my name. <laughs> Y'all, this is literally just four chunky cornrows going back and I have a rubber band back here. Yeah, come on. Come on, Illumination. Yes, come on now. You have your loop, which is also beautiful. You can stretch it out if you want to, honey. Toyo Trust has, yes, yes. This is probably my favorite butterfly lock loop. And as you can see, there is distress going down this lock. You are, you know, more than welcome to distress them more if you would like to. But this braid right here, of course, I want this piece to fall right up and through here. So I'm going to have my hook pointing down. Now for those um active 
Bellas, this is a review for you. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. We're gonna do some detailing, okay? Just in case you are new to my channel and you don't really know what I'm talking about. For butterfly locks, using your two fingers to pull the end through is the best way to do it because you don't wanna drag this loop up the butterfly lock because the butterfly lock is loose. You wrap butterfly locks loosely. These little distresses and all this little pretty twirling and, and wrapping that you see that we didn't have to do, you can lose that effect. You don't want to mess that pretty pattern up. You don't wanna do that. You don't, you don't wanna do that. One finger with the part, y'all, okay? I think we're gonna stick with one finger with the part. Generally, I do that with these butterfly locks. You uh grab this end, pull it through, easily bam we are already two locks in you know we got to get done with this honey this is the third one we're gonna do the same exact thing put your two fingers in the loop grab the end pull that end through the loop bam without disturbing the pattern we're gonna do that all the way down now when you get to the back if you want to go up Sis, go where it's comfortable because I'm not gonna judge the back of your hair. Sometimes I get ignorant too. It just depends on how my arms, sometimes your arms don't wanna work with you, honey. They be like, girl, I'm off the clock. So we finna go up. I don't know what to tell you. We're going up. You know, sometimes I gotta listen to my arms. It just depends. But I, I'm all right. You know, I've been working out and stuff. So my arms, my arms, you know, they, they, they working with me here, here recently. So speaking of, I got to work out today. Dang. I'm finna go up, I'm telling y'all now. <laughs> I'm about to go up, upward. It's not that big of a deal in the back, to be honest. It's really not. Sometimes it can be though, because when you go up, it can make the base of it kind of lift a little bit. One side will look flat. Going down in the direction that you want your hair to lay, it will lay it flat. And then you go over here, if you went up on this side, and it'll be a little more, have a little bit more volume, which is not always a bad thing. So basically that's what I'm saying to you. I think I have maybe one more. Nope, definitely have probably about two. Child, I'll be saying stuff before I even, Ooh, I need to get my life in order. I got to get myself together. Come on now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it on the hair. Now the key of it is you got to choose the right size hair. Yeah, makes sense? No, I know it did. You have to choose the right amount of hair to uh, crochet up under. Imagine that this is a cornrow going back. That's the easiest way to do this, is just to imagine that there's a braid right here when you and I both know there's not. If there was a cornrow right here, you would be going down. Still do that. I'm going to just get enough hair to, so you're not corn like you're not crocheting over a little bitty piece of hair. You don't want that. You still want a strong base, y'all. You're gonna do the same thing, easily. Bam, right there. It's in there. It's in there. You still gonna do a finger with a part, sis. Don't get so dirty because you don't you don't crochet your little piece in your hair now. Don't. Now we're gonna still we're gonna act like there's a cornrow right here, y'all. We pretending we're we're having our imagination time. Mm. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. Nice and gently, y'all. Especially if you have fine hair like me. I mean, if your hair is all thick and warrior like, then I mean. <laughs> if you got that thick hair, I mean, you know, you don't have to be as gentle. You still want to be gentle, but when you got fine hair like me, honey, you better not try to uh, be sedated. Keep going, guys. Keep on moving, don't stop. Keep on moving, don't stop, no. Keep on moving. Hey! We one day. Yes, honey, yes. Come on now. Keep going, y'all. Where we at, where we at? Oh, now right here, this part is kind of small. You can see. So we might do a couple more, but it's it's becoming more narrow back there. So less loose hair. So you may not have as many as you had when you were actually on the cornrow is what I'm saying. But just stay one finger with the part. As long as you can feel 
the loose hair back there keep going so we are finished with this section right here now what you could do if you want to you can lift this up you can put a couple pieces right here we're gonna wait to see how much hair we use first we don't want to just be doing stuff so i'm gonna do the same thing on this braid okay we're gonna take this step by step i'll probably do the last two off camera just because you know oh. mm. <laughs> My crochet hook was like, I'm on break. I'm on break. You didn't even ask me if I was ready to do this. That was one bundle. Not on my get it girl get it right now because I'm instructing. One finger with the part, y'all. Don't forget. Now, there are actually two ways that you can crochet. I probably never said this. I don't know if I've ever said this. There you go. But yeah, there are two ways. Ooh, this one is nice and frizzy. I like when they like that. You can go underneath the cornrow if you want to, or you can just cornrow the braid, like kind of go inside of the braid, if that makes sense. So you're not like the crochet hook never touches the, the bottom of the braid. It never touches your scalp. That's what I just did here. So yeah, you could do either way. I've never noticed too much of a difference, to be honest. Some people have their preference. I just say, whatever you do, do you. Okay, I'm finna start going up. I'm finna start being ignorant, okay? Right up and through here. When I get towards the back, yeah. That's when it gets like <laughs> super egg. I am not lying. The ignorance is real back here. Just as long as it works out in the end. That's all. You don't have to worry. When we're doing locks and big old braids and stuff, honey, this stuff gonna be cut. Pull it out. My cats, man. This stuff is gonna be covered up, scattered, smothered, and covered. Okay. Speaking of, y'all, can we go to Waffle House again? Y'all know how we was on um, boycotting Waffle House because they was acting ignorant. Y'all, whew. That's the only thing about me and boycotting. I, I stay with boycotts. Like, I don't be knowing when they lift it. Don't nobody tell me nothing. All I know is, Everybody be talking about stuff. I'm like, now wait a minute. I thought we was. Y'all ain't said, hey, cat dog. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here going without certain things and folk are enjoying it like a mug. I'm like, no way. I thought we was. I'll be late to the party. I didn't even know we had a meet and lifting the boycott, y'all. I didn't know we had lifted it. Now, what I might end up doing for this one, because this section is so wide, I might end up going underneath as well. I'm going to wait to the end, though, because I'm not going to be out here with 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 sparse hair you yeah. know i'm not gonna do that that's not what god has for my life and the closer you get to this part the more natural this is going to be now if you're having a middle part you really can do these back to back to back you don't have to have any space in between you want this part to be like bam <laughs> Says. I want y'all to cut it out. I really do. Still imagine that you have a braid right here. That's going to help you with placement. Just think if you had a braid right there, where would this next piece be? Or if you had individuals right there, where would this next piece be? So just imagine that you do have those things and it will help it will help you with placement it really will I'm gonna do one more going the correct way before I get ignorant now listen just because I'll be ignorant in the back y'all don't have to do that okay y'all do not have to be ignorant in the back I promise you I'm on pack three that's actually pretty good because we're halfway through so I may have hair left over to do some of the under if I want to now I'm just I'm just crocheting the way that my hand is comfortable pretty, pretty much listen let me tell you something on these longer tutorials those of y'all who rock with me during these really detailed longer tutorials y'all are so dope y'all are so dope man that just makes me feel good that y'all even you know really fool with me like that i'm like y'all love me so much i love y'all too y'all don't even realize what's up y'all what's up okay so i know y'all probably like what are you doing okay i'm gonna let you know so myself and toya trust are hosting a 21 winner giveaway for 2021 y'all want to win these butterfly locks <laughs> now okay listen 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 there's a reason why i place this 
right here in the video. I want the 21 winners to be people who really fool with me, who really rock with me, who really watch my content. So if you're still here, guess what? You got the tea. So what do you have to do? Gotta be subscribed to me, of course. Head over to Facebook. Join Toyo Trust Everyday Benefits Group where you get the exclusive Toyo Trust discount. You can win free hair. It's absolutely free to join. Then head over to Instagram. I want you to follow Mary Kay Bella. I want you to follow Toyo Trust Hair, okay? Find my giveaway post. Just show love. Let me know you entered. That's what you have to do to enter. These steps will not be written nor typed anywhere, okay? So just the fact that y'all are here, y'all got the tea. So rewind it as many times as you need to, to get the details, okay? And we do check these things, y'all. So please follow all of the rules, okay? Okay? And guess what? <laughs> guess what? If you've ever been the subscriber of the day, but when you come to Instagram on the giveaway post, let me know that you were the subscriber of the day in which video you were subscriber of the day. And guess what? You already answered. <laughs> come on, somebody. Come on, somebody for my subscribers of the day. You know I gotta show love. Ooh, ooh. So, shh, this is just for y'all that really rock with me. 21 winners, butterfly locks, Mary Kay Bella, Toyo Trust. Let's get it. Oh, but speaking of, I have to talk to you guys about something. It's not going to be in this video, though, but it'll be in an upcoming video. Really about the direction and some things that are going to be um, happening with my channel. I just want to... Y'all really... Y'all don't realize, like, how much I, I really... I care about y'all so much. So I just want to run some stuff by you first to kind of just get your opinion on things. Because that's really going to determine what I do and what I don't do, to be honest. We looking good so far, looking good and natural. I'm going to do this side off camera just so you don't have to just sit here and watch this. Because I, I, I don't know if you want to. And then I'll be right back um, and we'll see if we can kind of fill some stuff in or not, okay? Hold on, hold on. As my husband said, hold a minute, hold a minute. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm pretty much done with this side for now. What I did here, okay, if you notice, when you are doing braidless crochets or you're using really big braids, this is what can happen. The hair can slide down. When we started, the hair was like up here, really close to the part. Over time, it will slide down. So what you can do in the meantime, slide it down yourself and then do another row right here. That way, there will be very minimal sliding. I already did it on the other side. There'll be very minimal, if any, sliding because you've already done what was eventually going to happen. You, you kind of just beat it over there. Right there by the part. Okay. And y'all, this is this this loop is amazing. This is the I'm telling you, because butterfly lock loops are like, oh my gosh, such a headache. My cats are trying to open the door. My goodness. So we're just gonna go along this part to bring it. I knew it was Kenya to bring it closer to that part and to kind of combat that sliding back. Bam, bam, we're looking good. Now, I still have two locks left and two bundles left. So what I can do is this real thick section right here, I can lift this up, I can put another row right there. You know, actually, I think I wanna be kinda of like midway in between these two sections. I don't wanna be too close up here. I don't wanna be too close down here. I want this to be at, just like if this was a braid, it would be right here in between these two. Really imagining where your braids would be if this was a braided install, that's gonna be the key to helping you do this. We're just gonna put some pieces off up and stop. Oh my gosh, y'all. Anybody else have cats? They are a trip. Once we're all finished, I'm gonna go to my other spot so you guys can really see in the light. I know it's like dark behind me and it's dark hair. So I know that, I do know that, I do know that. I don't want y'all to be like, damn, we can't even see it. We can't even see it. We can't even see it, see it. We can't see it. We can't even see it, see it. We can't see it, we, we can't even see it, see it. We can't even see it, see it. We can't even see it, see it. <laughs> Y'all be making me come.
come up with these songs. Yes, yes. I think I'm gonna put one in between because I might have a part. Y'all know I like right side parts, so I may need to make this a little bit more full on this say because I'll be liking right side parts. Maybe not. I don't know. I just okay. So now I'm gonna do the same thing under this section because this is a wide section to kind of uh alleviate the the fact that there's an entire section of hair just kind of you know chilling being hairy <laughs> yeah come on eight inch now i'm liking this eight inches now you can kind of go through and feel around where your cornrows are and see if there's any other place you would probably want to sneak a piece right there Bam. Yes, I think I'm pretty good on this. Yeah, I'm liking this. So really at this point, just go in and kind of um feel for spaces where you can, you can afford to put another piece. And that this part is really just your discretion. It's really just what you feel. If you feel like it's too sparse in a certain area, go through. Put you another piece in. Again, I love the fact that I have so much hair left. That is wonderful. I'm gonna go in here in my other space so you guys can really see it without the black background. Okay, very, very easy. What y'all feel about the eight inch? How y'all liking the eight inch? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on y'all, hold on.